we're able to scan the patient. The uh, data is then transferred uh, to a high-end uh, computer workstation that's loaded with specific software that allows us to generate both two-dimensional and three-dimensional images of the colon. So after you get off the CT scanner table, you're done with the exam and you can go home, we actually do all of this fancy manipulation. This is just an example of a 2D image. Uh, this is with the patient in one position, and you can see here where this is the sigmoid colon, where there's not very good distension, but with better distension, more insufflation from that carbon dioxide insufflator, we've nicely outlined uh, this polyp. Now this again, look at the stunning images that you can get of your colon from the CT scan. And this is using that special software. It's no additional radiation to you. Um, where the colon is in green, and you can see small bowel and the different multicolors. Here's the stomach in blue. Well, then you, as the user, that can choose just to examine the colon. So I'm going to exclude everything else, and I'm just picking out the colon, which turns this beige color. And this uh, is the traditional fly-through from that CT scanner data. And this allows, this was happened to be a cancer, but this allows us to travel through the colon similar to what a gastroenterologist would see as they inserted that scope into your colon. We're able to pick up polyps, you see one here, as well as this bump against the far wall here. We're, we're able to manipulate the data in 360 degrees. So this, we can uh, easily roll through the wall, and here's a polyp. We can rotate in any way. And this is, again, at no additional radiation. We measure the size of the polyp really easily. I mentioned uh, the automated measurements. So this is uh, another polyp, pedunculated polyp. This is what it looked like on the colonoscopy. So you know, if we do find a large enough lesion, we will send the patient on to the traditional colonoscopy to get it taken out. But the uh, fact of the matter is most patients will not have anything that's clinically significant. And there, again, is software with, with just the uh, point of a button, we can actually automatically measure the size of a polyp and the volume uh, of the polyp.